Welcome to part one of the assembly of my ST Flight circuit boards. This is actually the first circuit board, uh, printed circuit board that I have manufactured and the first uh, surface mount soldering I've ever done actually. So the uh, technique is n uh, more than likely not going to be great, uh, but that's fine. So you can see here we started off with our uh, oscillator uh, circuitry, so we've got the, uh, the actual crystal oscillator and then the c uh, capacitors that go along with that. Uh, to start here we're just going to solder on the uh, the circuitry needed to get the AT Mega running a blink sketch, and then later we'll move on to the power supply circuitry. So you can see here we're putting in uh, the current limiting resistor and then the LED for the uh, for the indicator. This is the uh, the only LED that the AT Mega can tr control directly, so this will be for you know fault codes and stuff like that. Uh, and here we're putting the AT Mega chip in place. So we're gonna just tack one leg down and get the chip centered correctly and then tack down the other leg and now we can run along and do each individual bend. And so uh, you can see here, you know, using some uh, desoldering braid if it's not perfect and I go through and check every LED. These, these uh, pads are actually quite small. Um, these ones aren't too bad. The, you'll see later the, um, the other chip I do is a little bit smaller. Uh, you can see these with the naked eye, but it's hard to tell the, the quality of the solder joint uh, with the naked eye. And you can see here, because of that, I'm, I'm running through and checking every pattern individually. So I'm putting in the in-circuit programming header here now. This is going to let us uh, load the bootloader onto the AT Mega chip so that we can upload with serial later. And that's what we're doing now is getting the bootloader ready to go. And uh, there's actually a problem with this board. The uh, TX and RX LED, or the uh, the pins are actually mixed up on the board. And uh, I didn't realize that until I went to uh, actually upload code to it. Uh, but not a problem. I'll just have to make a, a little daughter board. And you can see I, I did get the blink sketch successfully uploaded. So we're going to move on to the power supply. So to start here, we're going to put on the most difficult component of this board, which is the uh, boost converter. So. You can see the, the boost converter has a big pad on the bottom of it. Um, so in order to actually solder to this, we're going to need to transfer heat through the board uh, with some vias. This is a technique that was shown on uh, Dave Jones' EEV blog. Um, so we, we actually heat up the bottom of the board, the vias uh, transfer the heat through the board to uh, heat up the pad. We've got to get it centered on the top of the board before we can actually solder the other uh, pins in place. And you can see here I'm trying to check the alignment and, you know, get it all figured out. And I actually, after I uh, solder in some pins, I actually have to heat it up again and then move it because uh, I can't quite get the, the pins into the corner or the solder into the corner. Um, but eventually I do get it and uh, there you can see it's, it's in place now. I'm just running through and double checking the solder joints and then I'm going to test it. So all the connections are actually correct. You can see on the right side I'm actually cross-referencing the, uh, the different uh, layouts and schematics and stuff in between to make sure that I understand which uh, parts are going where. Actually skip forward a little bit here, uh, I've skipped some of the capacitors, now I'm uh, going ahead with the resistors in the power supply section. Uh, so these are resistors for the under, under voltage lockout. Um, and then we've got the resistors here for the different uh, LEDs. And then we'll do the LEDs in just a moment. So here comes the uh, three LEDs that we have yet to assemble. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm putting a, a little dome of solder on the one side, and then I uh, get the component level and centered, and then I uh, put the solder on the other side with lots of flux. There we go. So the uh, power supply section is assembled. I'm just putting in a capacitor there temporarily to test things to make sure uh, that it is working correctly. I don't want to solder that in place because it's going to block me from putting the other components there. Um, so you can see the LED on the, the far left side there, it is, uh, it is on. That's going to indicate that the, uh, the 5 volt rail is on and I'm checking all the voltages are correct, which they uh, all turned out to be fine. Uh, the next LED over is the uh, the charge LED, which you'll see we'll, we'll use it in a moment, um, that's going to be on while the uh, device is charging the battery. 
and the next LED over is the fixed LED, and that one uh, isn't going to turn on until we uh, assemble the GPS section. Um, that's uh, going to obviously indicate that we have a GPS fix. So I'm getting ready here to test the, uh, the input voltage um, to make sure that it will charge the battery correctly. Everything does actually go together correctly in this stage, uh, so we're ready to move on uh, to soldering some of the other sections in place. Thanks for watching.